we are going to be talking all things weightlifting belts. At the Bar Bahamas, we are extremely pro belts. They are allowed in every strength-based sport, strongman, powerlifting, weightlifting, and CrossFit. They also are a performance aid in that we know that our muscles activate a little bit stronger and lifts feel a little bit easier when we are using a belt. But what we also know is that one of the circumstances where people pee during lifting is when they are using a belt. So first things first, let's talk about different types of belts. In CrossFit and weightlifting, more people are going to be using these cloth belts. They are a little bit more flexible. They are a little bit more able to move and breathe, and it can make it easier on some of these dynamic movements like the clean and the snatch. Also, the bar for a lot of these movements needs to stay really close, and this belt lies very flush with our body and can make it easier so nothing gets caught on the way up on both of the Olympic lifting movements. When we're thinking about what belt we want to use for a cloth belt, there's a lot of different brands. We don't have one that we prefer over the other, but we do advocate for having the same width of a belt around your belly. When you see some brands, they can have almost like this increase in what they call back support, but we really want a true equal distribution of the increase in pressure and that cinching support when we are using a belt. So we actually don't want a lot of deviations up and down. If you are in the sport of powerlifting, there's a little bit more nuance because one, these cloth belts are not legal in many federations if you are lifting competitively. And many powerlifters will use a very thick prong or lever belt that is legal with different types of companies depending on the federation you're working with. When it comes to those lever belts, it is a lot thicker. You're gonna feel a lot more support. Those are going to hold you in. But again, same thing, that there can be an increased risk for leaking, especially if we are not bracing appropriately with these belts. Next, let's talk about how to put these belts on. I tell my clients that I want you to put the belt on when you are exhaled. We want to think that it is going to be tight, but I can breathe. So I have this through, I'm gonna put this belt in nice and tight. When it comes to bracing with a belt, your brace sequence should not change. I'm gonna repeat that because it's so important. Your bracing sequence should not change. When you are bracing before you put a belt on, you are inhaling and then drawing in, contracting your abs. What can happen when we use a weightlifting belt is that people get told to push out against the belt. One, that is a change in the way that we are bracing and we do not want to change a brace that is very effective under our heaviest loads, which is when we tend to use the weightlifting belt. The second thing is that when we do that and actively push out against the belt, it's like squeezing in the middle of a balloon and it creates a lot more downward pressure on the pelvic floor. It can predispose us to be peeing with heavy lifting. What we want to do is because we put this belt on, this is as tight as I would have my belt. I can still put a finger in here, but it's pretty snug and I'm still able to talk to you all. You're going to take now a big inhale. As soon as I do that, I start to feel the support of the belt pushing against my core. From there, my sequencing, just like our bracing sequence, and I'll put the link to our bracing video up in the corner of this video, is we're going to tighten our core muscles or draw in as if someone was going to give us a little punch to the stomach or our toddler was going to jump on our bellies. By doing that, I'm now going to have the extra support of the belt. It's going to give my muscles a bit of a kickstart, and this can be very helpful for lifting. In terms of when we use the weightlifting belt, if you are using it all the way from warm-up to when you are lifting at heavy loads, 
you are using it as a crutch and we need to stop that habit. When we want to use it is usually for our working sets and we allow our bracing sequence and our core to get strong in the warm-up sets leading up to it. When it comes to postpartum considerations, a lot of individuals I'm seeing now are using it because they haven't gotten their core strength back and this belt makes them feel better. We need to do the work on our core before we can gain the performance aid that is the weightlifting belt. I hope you found this helpful. Let me know if you have any other questions in the comments below and we'll see you in the next video.